Hi there, this is Fabio with another video for Off Center DJ School about playing live with Ableton. And today we're going to talk about using grid controllers to use in the session view uh, with live. Okay, so the most common grid controllers these days are the Launchpad. Uh, this is the old school version, the Launchpad Mini, uh, and Ableton Push. Um, but anything with a grid of light of buttons will work here. And uh, it's pretty much the, like the same idea for anyone, any controller that you pick. Now it's important to know that pretty much any session is gonna work with this kind of controller. Uh, so the idea here is not to simply throw some clips on the screen and just like, you know, get on with it. Uh, the idea is to actually plan this thing so that it makes sense, okay? That you can play this without panicking live, okay? And this happens more than you would imagine. Um, and having a session that you can actually improvise with uh, and change things on the fly and you know keep the vibe going uh, while you're doing it. So right now I have a, a session here with a few clips. As you can see, both controllers are lighting up uh, in the same way, uh, although the push is an RGB controller and the launchpad MIDI is not. But if I fire uh, any sounds here, you're gonna see that the clip uh, lights up in green on the on the push, and is also lighting up on the launch pad. But uh, how do you plan for this sort of thing? Okay, how do you make this thing work? Well, the main idea is always to keep it simple, as most things in life, right? So the idea is, if you have an eight by eight grid. Uh, this means that you're gonna have eight channels at your disposal and you should work with eight scenes. Could you make more than that? Could you create more scenes or more channels than that? Yes, but it's gonna be hard to keep everything that's happening in your mind and like visually distributed in your controllers in a way that you will remember what everything does. So for example, this set right here is not ideal. While I have eight uh, uh, channels, I have more scenes, which means that I'm gonna have to page through in each controller uh, to see everything that I need to do. And this already kind of uh, makes you think about simply firing scenes and letting them loop and then not doing anything interesting in between. Now, the problem with that is that if you're like me, your sets uh, look more like this, right? So this is the arrangement view. And notice that I have a bunch of groups here uh, and each group has a bunch of channels inside. And this is a pretty complex arrangement, right? So, uh, I can't really make this fit into an 8x8 grid the way it is right now. Now, if you're panicking about this, like, you know, have, oh my God, so many tracks and I can't fit this into an 8x8 grid or a 4x4 grid, just remember that, for example, Tractor Stems only offers four tracks and DJs can work with that and improvise as much as they want. So it isn't that hard uh, to reduce your tracks into, for example, drums, bass, harmony, and lead. Uh, and we have actually doubled the tracks here. We have eight tracks, so we can have drums, percussion, bass, harmony, harmony two, uh, and two leads for you to, uh, to play with. So it isn't really that complicated, right? We have all those tracks, and now I'm really glad that I grouped everything together so I can just like reduce everything like on the screen like this and start playing. And I'm gonna mute and unmute things uh, to figure out what we have inside everything, okay? So let's go. So, drums here. Inside these drums, I have some basic drums and I have some percussion-like stuff. So I could probably leave this separate from the harder stuff like this. That's an idea. Then I have some bass here that kicks in sometimes. There you go. So this is probably gonna be its own channel. Then I have some guitars here. Uh, no guitars right now, but more like there, and I actually have two guitar channels, so maybe I'm going to keep them separated, maybe together, not sure yet. I have a little bit of special effects here and some harmony, some little sounds like that, and I have pads. I also have something that sounds like horns. And I have the main lead here at the top, uh, which is gonna kick in 
over here. So let's play this thing. And this is going to be in a track of its own. Now is the time to actually work with this and separate it. And uh, what you want to take care of, uh, to you know, be aware of, is that you should probably have solo in place marked. Uh, so that, you know, I don't know about you, but I use lots of sends, as you can see here. So whenever you render a channel where the sends are important, are as important as the channel itself, you want to keep everything together so that you can mix it and uh, have everything sound uh, the way it should. Okay, so now we have our stems right here, as you can see. Uh, I ended up only with one, two, three, four, five, uh, six uh, tracks. And the next step is pretty much we create uh, the right number of channels that we need. So I'm on the session view right here, and we're just gonna create one, two, three, four, five. Uh, now I have six, I'm gonna name them accordingly, bass, uh, drums, and then guitars, harmony, lead, uh, and percussion. I might reorder this a little bit, but the first step is actually we're going to uh, the arrangement view, and we're just gonna put everything over here so we can actually find the right places to create our scenes, right? We could have selected the different scenes in uh, the project itself, uh, it's up to you. I usually like to work uh, like this. So now I'm going to slice this into scenes and then I'm going to transpose them over there to the session view. Okay, so in the end we got this. Uh, as you can see, we have six channels right here uh, and I have uh, some scenes. Lead in, intro, break, verse one, verse one, chorus, outro. Uh, used, I've used seven scenes and six channels and uh, this pretty much is the whole song. I can start playing right now. As you can see, I'm going to just fire the scenes as they go. There's a little bit of a lead in. So there you go. And then intro. And now I have each one of the channels uh, playing as they should. Now, before I consider everything done and just go and play, uh, there's a few things you should consider. First of all, whenever you take clips out of the arrangement view and you put them in the session view, uh, they are usually not warped and they are not looped. So you need to take care of that. First, you need to configure everything uh, the way they should be. So like really quickly, I'm just gonna select everything with Command A. Uh, I'm gonna warp everything, I'm just gonna make everything warped. And uh, now I'm gonna just go through each one of the different warped clips and I'm gonna make them, um, gonna set the right warping mode. So these are beats, they are fine, no problem. Uh, this is bass, uh, harmony, guitars and leads. I'm just gonna put everything as complex right here. You might change it later. You know, you might have a different opinion on how to do these things. Another important thing, whoops, is to uh, set everything that should loop as a loop. So I'm gonna loop all the things. Uh, the lead in shouldn't really be a loop. If you might want to adjust a little bit, you know, make th some things loop and some other things not loop, this is all up to you. So after a few tweaks, this is what I have. Uh, notice that I color coded a few things uh, in my scene and I changed a few names so that I know uh, what's going on. Now, I also added color to the scenes and uh, everything is very well described and everything is very easy to read, right? So I know that there are, that I have like an empty scene with just like the lead in of the drums and then I have everything else laid out in a way that I can play with it. So now let's bring this all together. I'm gonna jam a little bit. And just, you know, fire different elements of the track as I go. Just having some fun here. Bring in the beats. So once again, this is Fabio for Off Center DJ School. If you have any questions or things to add, comment below as always. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.